Welcome to the last part of the tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the neuron bot navigate through the map by itself. In the previous sections, we have launched all the robot infrastructures and locate the robot properly. In this tutorial, I will show you three different algorithms for the robot to navigate in space. The first algorithm is the DWA or the Dynamic Window Approach. The launch file is under the Omni Navigation Package. Same as before, we will open the RV's configuration presets, which is located under Omni Navigation Package. Now we can see multiple layers on our RV screen. We can set goal to the planner. This is easily done by the RV's 2D nav goal function which is located on the upper banner of the RV's window. Similar to the post estimation, we simply click on the map and set its final orientation. Now your robot can move anywhere with just one click. On the RV's map view, we can see the green original laser scanned map. Gray cells with gradients are on the global cost map. The colorful blue and pink ones are the local cost map that is used for local trajectory planning and obstacle avoidance. Now let's enjoy the view of robot navigate itself through space. The second algorithm is called the TAP, or Time Elastic Band. This is how it performs. This optimization-based algorithm tends to move slowly if the global planner gives a path that gets too close to obstacles. Of course, the behavior can be changed if you modify the parameters properly. Last one is the E-band or the elastic band algorithm. This algorithm is visually more appealing, and its logic is easier to understand. However, its performance is not so well. the robot wiggles its way toward the destination. This brings us to the end of this tutorial series. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. Also, all the related links are in the description below. Please check those out. Finally, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.